Yeah, I think we're almost done here, boys. <laughs> we're gonna die here. We're still losing money, you know, to corruption. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation in U4 and 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate the release of the Lions of the North DLC and the addition of the latest nation in 1444 in U4, we're back to season G with the nation of Goatland. Goatland is the newest addition to the map in 1444. Like I said, it used to exist as a releasable nation, and this province used to be a part of Denmark with some pretenders over here, but now we exist in 1444. We start off as a duchy, but we're quickly going to get an event to choose whether to remain a monarchy, become a merchant republic, or a pirate republic, and I think you guys already know what I'm going to do. We start off with Eric Griff right here. He's a 1, 2, 3, pretty bad actually, and gutnish ideas are actually really really nice we got minus 15 percent ccr and plus 15 percent privateer efficiency and the ambition is plus 10 percent trade efficiency and then we have a minus 10 percent dev discount minus 15 percent merc maintenance minus 10 percent ship cost plus 10 percent global trade power a merchant plus 33 percent naval force limit and minus 0.5 interest per annum so overall a super super nice idea set but what do we do as goatland well you boys obviously already know man we're gonna jump in as goatland stop being a monarchy we're gonna become a pirate Pirate Republic. We're gonna raid all of these guys' coasts. We're gonna privateer some trade nodes. And for our final goal, we're gonna have to conquer every center of trade or estuary in the Baltic Sea all the way over here and over here up to sort of this line right here. So everything from this line that way, every center of trade, we're gonna have to conquer it. How we're gonna do it as a one province minor pirate republic? I literally have no idea. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And boys, consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100k subs and maybe with your support, we can do it. Let's jump in as Goatland. All right, all right, here we are as Goatland, and like I said, as soon as we start, we get this event, the claims of Eric Griff, where basically we stand behind Eric, king of the Kalmar Union, and we get the monarchy mission tree, gain stab, and it'll allow us to form Denmark, but then we just remain a monarchy. Boring. Or Eric is nobody's king. At best, he's the mayor of Goatland. And with this option, we get the Republican or piratical missions for Goatland, and we get another event where we choose to become a merchant republic or a pirate republic. So let's go with the second option, obviously, and we have the option our wealth is dependent on our commercial skills that's our faith we become a plutocracy or life is too short to waste it with trading the fate of a pirate is ours and we become a pirate republic and we gain some galleys and stuff like that so of course we're gonna become a pirate republic baby you know what it is and just like that ladies and gentlemen we are a pirate republic we got all the nice bonuses that go along with it along with the factions yes all right so uh everything from here to here every center of trade we're gonna have to conquer we're gonna have to fight russia denmark the kelmar union the hre there really is no easy nation to fight here huh so let me get started by doing some estate stuff if i still have them once a month digs by what all right estate stuff done i guess let me take a look at the factions these guys give me what hmm, i actually kind of want to put the smugglers in power but we'll do that later i guess all right uh let me get these boats right here and let me tell them to go to every sea tile right here so we can uh pretty much raid everything you know what i'm saying and i'm just gonna unpause and keep clicking this button just like that so i'm clicking this mouse super hard right now and uh yeah all right every coast has been raided we got a bunch of money manpower and sailors well not manpower but yeah uh sailors let's see if we can get some allies new all righty then all right now i'm gonna private here with these light ships in the baltic sea and we are gonna get some more light ships just like that let's take a look at the rest of the fleet yeah let's get two more galleys and one more transport this is gonna take years to build since we only have one province but uh frick it our force limit is seven and we got five troops right here let's get rid of that horse we don't like him and let's get three more regiments just like that are we making money at the start of course not and uh we're not gonna be hiring any advisors Alrighty then uh let me improve with some nations that may ally me like lunaberg and Würzburg. i'm already improving with staten i watched flory play goatland at pdxcon but i'm gonna be honest i don't remember what he did <laughs> oh we don't have estates so yeah uh there was literally no need for me to do that <laughs> tier two gov reform time the privateers way is really good but we are gonna need some allies this will prevent us from making allies so i'm actually going to go with a uh, council of captains here for private tier efficiency i can actually ally poland after improving with them quite a lot so this is awesome this is what's going to save our game i think all right so now we can curry favors with poland and pounce on the livonians because the teutons have allied denmark Alrighty then danish russia there we go oh dude i'm already hurting man 
We actually also got this monument right here, the Visby City, and it's actually pretty good even at tier 1 for uh, minus 25% local shipbuilding time, plus 50% hostile disembark time, and plus 20% privateer efficiency. Really good as Pirate Goatland. You know, actually, it's a good thing that we got Danish Russia because we won't have to fight Muscovy for an, uh, Neva right here. Oh boy, here I go raiding again. I sure love the Pirate's Life, boys. I love the Pirate's Life, man. How far can we go? Maybe not that far. Let's try and go to here, huh? Yeah, Pirate's Life for me, baby. You know what it is. Another successful raid, boys. Ah. Time to do a little bit of deving in Goatland to speed up the spawning of the Renaissance and get the age objective ticked off. And uh, we produce wool. Alrighty then. Well, that's not a very nice trade good. Is it now, boys? New mission was this? <gasps> Goatlander pirate fleet. Sea dogs. Nice. Uh, perma claims on what? Oh, this. Nice. I got a 15% more privateer efficiency from an event, and now I can take the mission, the Terror of the Baltics. Goatland gains a perma claim on every province with a center of trade or estuary province modifier, which is in the areas of uh, them right here. So uh, there we go. Now we know everything we need to conquer, pretty much. Uh, Stockholm too, though. Stockholm too. Shout out to Stockholm, actually. I was just there. Let's go for, uh, let's see right here. Huh. I'm actually gonna go Consolidation of Power. I don't want more frequent elections. Rare, I know. And if you're wondering why I'm not fighting yet, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting on Poland. They were fighting Wallachia, now they're fighting Crimea. We'll get there eventually, don't worry. All right, all right, first idea group time. And realistically, boys, we only have three choices here. Plutocratic ideas, yes, for republics. I actually really like Pluto. But we should also go with naval and maritime, I think, as well. Naval now has minus 100% barrage costs when finished, so we can literally bomb every coastal fort. I think we are going to be opening up with naval here, boys. Maritime is our second one. If we play that for Pluto as well. Let me uh, focus on Mel here. All right, boys, I think we're good to go here, man. Let me just get a general just like that. And let's go ahead and declare on the Livonian order. And my goal for this first war is, well, who are we going to be fighting? Let's see. All right, the Livonians and the Teutons and Riga, I guess. So uh, I'm not actually going to take Riga. I'm going to fight them later so I can take some provinces from the HRE Hanseatic League guys without having to fight Austria. So uh, let's go ahead and hit these boys. Try and get Raval, Memel, Konigsberg, and Danzig. Uh, Poland will do the heavy lifting here. Let's declare for Raval. Call in these boys. That's what's up. All right, we've done the most important job. Occupied these three provinces ourselves, which means Poland can't take them. Awesome. Now we just need to end this war, man. And uh, yeah, take whatever we can easy thank you poland and boys everyone says i look like a super villain man you know because i did a face reveal at pdx con or whatnot and i got some posts on twitter and stuff so follow me on twitter if you want to see my face or check out the latest community post why do i look like a villain what is it is it the turtleneck is it being bald by choice by the way i cut my hair is it the mustache what is it is it a combination of all of those things what makes me a villain what makes me dr eggman and uh cal chuchesta <laughs> Dude, this war got so much easier. They've deleted the Fort in Raval, bro. Look at this. All right, I'm going to separate piece uh, the Teutons for these three provinces right here in hindsight. Oh, I well, I was going to say I should have co-belligerented them, but uh, no, they're allied to Denmark. So let's peace out. 62 AE, it is quite a lot, but we won't really be fighting a lot of wars here, man. So it's not going to be a problem. Like, let me get their money too. And uh, that's that. Goatlander, East Prussia. Yes. Now we can take this mission right here. Freeport of Danzig. Nice bonuses. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yes, I know I should have upgraded it to level 2 so it can go up to level 3, but I don't care that much, boys. What are you thinking? All right, Poland hopped out of the war, but luckily I did just peace out Riga, and I think we can uh, do a little something like this, man. Of course, we're going to get Raval, the center of trade, but I'm also getting uh, these other provinces, so we're connected, and uh, this one, so we're connected to Riga later. So let's do that. Can we get war reps, or should I keep going and humiliate these boys? I think I'll keep going, actually. All right, now we're done, and we can do all that, as well as humiliate them, war reps, and money. Easy. Z. All right, nice expansion, boys. I like this. AE is, of course, super, super high right now, so we are going to have to chill. I think our next war is probably going to be with Riga right here and also the Hanseatic League guys, or, well, just Lubeck, I guess. So, yeah, Riga and Lubeck are our next targets, and then I don't know how we're going to fight uh, freaking Wolgast and Stettin here, man. Pain. Just did some more raiding. Money. Oh, Sweden has... um. My boats were just there. Let me show you guys. So yeah, Sweden has pretenders. I wonder if they got that event where a lot of pretenders show up. Let's see. Let's move our boats around and see if we can spot anything else here. Hmm, looks like just one pretender stack. I don't know if Denmark is going to be able to deal with them. If Sweden breaks free here and their independence is already supported, uh, maybe we can pounce for Stockholm right away. So I'm actually going to go ahead 
and start spying on them. And what I want the least to happen here is basically Sweden getting supported from Muscovy and England and then breaking free because then they'll be allied to them, right? I'd rather fight it just the Kalmar Union instead of Muscovy and England. All right, now we got a bunch of cash and our first limit is bigger. So let's go ahead and uh, put down some marketplaces. Is there one in Danzig? Let's see right here. There is. What about Konigsberg? Nope. What about Memel? Uh, nope. What about Reval? Uh, nope. Just like that. There we go. Easy peasy. Do we need a church? We don't. And our army force. What did I do? I, I stopped constructing something there we go there's the marketplace back and uh let's increase the size of our army as well yes finally horses of course i'm gonna go for justified wars here oop there's another pretender stack all right these guys are definitely gonna pop out at any moment here man is sweden a nation of vital interest okay now it is uh yeah i think we are gonna be able to easily defeat sweden even by ourselves man our navy is so so big they're gonna be weak after the pretenders rise up they're gonna delete armies and stuff like that so uh let's wait for the perfect moment this is probably our next war oh wait i actually need this from them as well yep there's the other stack there this is definitely that uh 60k pretender rebels event that you guys probably saw in my denmark guide that i dropped last week well denmark took a stupid decision it's on them so what are you gonna do what's up with poland 3k soldiers 4k manpower what the hell well i just got some boats from an event right here oh they're heavies dude austria is about to die to the ottomans the ottomans just declared this may be a good opportunity to fight wolgast actually because austria is pretty close to not joining and we can get uh this province from them i'm gonna go for respect for the sea here for uh tier four we're chilling even in peacetime man i just raided some more got three more galleys in an event just like the one i already got life's good you know what i mean life is good you know what i mean like... is this new uh hungary joined the hre they are a junior partner of austria i guess this must be new dalmatia's in it too what hmm Maybe Austria invited them. Wait, now Riga's in the HRE too? Come on, dude. All right, I feel like we gotta take advantage of this, man. If we fight Brandenburg here, Austria won't defend them because they don't like them. Almost all of my boys would hop in. Sure, we're gonna have to fight Denmark and their boys, but Sweden is this little and they won't help out, even though we will need to siege them down. So this is like our best opportunity for a war right now. Either way, let's hop in, baby. Let's do it. My navy is superior. Yes. Their navy is no match, dude. It's glorious. Glorious, I tell you. All right, boys, this war is pretty much done. It was actually really easy beating Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do right here in this war is obviously take this province that we need. But I'm also going to take the province of Never right here, since it is a center of trade, in case Muscovy decides to fight Denmark and take it from them. So I'm going to do this right here connect all the way to uh Stralsund and also Neva just like that and uh then let's get some more ups let's get some cash and this war is done man a pretty high once again but we're gonna chill fight Riga fight someone else like that we'll see what's up and so far man I can't say that I'm not happy with our progress everything is looking really good and yeah man right now I'm not even scared of Denmark anymore we already beat them once I don't know if Poland would help directly with them though so we might have to find a workaround just like we did now but that's not gonna be the most difficult war man the most difficult one is gonna be taking uh Stetten from Stetten and Lubeck from Lubeck uh is Austria powerful they did just get Burgundy they don't actually have any strong allies so maybe if Poland buffs up a little bit you know we could take them let me see, can I ally any more big boy nations? Um, what about France? I might be able to link with France here, boys, honestly. Yeah, let's give it a shot. We ain't had one of these boys for a while, or maybe I just feel like that because I haven't played EU4 for a while. All right, so I found a slight workaround right here. We can declare on the Teutons. Poland would also help. Denmark wouldn't even join, which... Uh, these fools! They went bankrupt. I guess now you know how I feel all the time, huh, AI? But... What was I saying? Right. If I declare the Teutons, I can also fight Riga and Stettin and take two more important provinces, part of our goal. So that's what we're going to be doing, boys. Fighting the Teutons and taking Riga and Stettin. The piratical diplomacy knows no bounds because now I can ally the kingdom of France. Ah, all right. I like that, man. Got these two big boys right here. None of them like Austria, maybe because they're automatically co-belligerented. They would join versus someone like Lubeck. Poland uh, attitude. Okay, that can change. France would. Awesome. Awesome. I think uh, we're set here, man. Easy campaign, baby. Easy. Goatlane, who knew it was so good despite having a disgusting map color? <laughs> Either way, let's not get bogged down too much. Uh, let's declare on the Teutons right here for Ermland. We're not even going to take stuff from them. Uh, can we call Belligerent Riga? New. No. What about Stettin? New. No, of course not. And let's just call in Poland to make this whole thing easier. I've never seen this guy. I've never seen this portrait uh, as a new. And this war is done as well. All right, let's see the damage. If we take Riga, 12 AE, not bad at all. If we take Stettin, 33 AE, once again, not bad at all. All right, man, 
looking super super strong boys uh i think the only thing we need wait does puskov have a border with no okay puskov doesn't have c access Whew, i was almost worried right there uh the only thing we need right now is stockholm elfsborg right here copenhagen and these two so we need to fight denmark pretty much i think only once and uh then we need to fight lubeck which i think won't be that difficult with the help of poland which should come in and france which also should come in nice Let's chill for a while here. New mission to free the port of Riga Mercantilism. Ooh, center of trade has increased by one. Nice. I'm actually going to bump it up to a tier two first and then take this mission. Uh, let's core this up, huh? And let's take this. Uh, next gov reform time. I think I'm going to take the, let's see, gov cap right here because, well, we are already over. So yeah, let's go with admin divisions. Nice. Oh my god, dude. Sweden's independent, man. They just broke free from Denmark, dude, in a peaceful way. But we have a truce with them. We can't fight them for six years. I just hope they don't get any strong allies, man. Please. Muscovy warned me, so I can't fight Denmark. Yeah, well, they wouldn't even defend. What about Sweden? Nah, we're good. All right, we can work around this Denmark alliance by maybe fighting Verden with claims bordering claims. Yeah, I'll spy on Hamburg and then Verden so we can work around that warning. So Muscovy is fighting Denmark. Uh, good decision to take Noteborg earlier. And we're done with naval. Now we can naval barrage for free. Good addition, man. Good addition. So I actually didn't even need to spy on Hamburg because these provinces share a sea tile. So now I can just claim Verden, which is a Danish ally. And now even if Muscovy would still defend Denmark, when I want to fight them, I can just get around that by declaring on Verden right here. And uh, well, actually, no, because then Austria would come in Alrighty then all right let me get a bunch of loans so i can uh bump up riga to tier two now i can take this mission and yeah that's right that's what i thought uh the game won't bump it up to level three like ever too bad it didn't say that right there but we're good base production i like that all right tier two got reform time let's lean even more into the piratical stuff uh i was gonna go pluto but obviously we can't so let's go maritime sweden still doesn't have allies by the way okay they've allied hamburg not bad at all i can't wait for the parastro reformation dude oh my god <laughs> big hre big dalmatia too Alrighty then france is in italy as well i guess let's not let's not pay attention to that what i was saying is uh i can't wait for protestant dude we've been catholic all game man i only got this thing once dog it's so hard being catholic in northern europe got a claim on this province as well thanks to claims bordering claims so now we're good to go with sweden let's make austria salty by uh removing every province that we own in the hre yes just like that listen you guys may be growing in the south uh but i'm uh shrinking you in the north yes hey choose with sweden is up they're still only at the hamburg will anyone help me no but we can take them easily by ourselves let's see can we get a bigger army going here uh let me get two cannons and uh yeah we'll be ready to bounce i'll invade from Goatland. all right i was actually busy dealing with some rebels but we can go ahead and hit sweden now for the conquest of stuff they border each other now don't they now what to spice things up even further, now hosting is free and they're in the HRE. I jinxed myself earlier, that's the only possible explanation here. Honestly, we can probably actually take Muscovy with uh, Poland right here. Let me spy on them and uh, I don't know what that's gonna do. How uh, It'll remove the warning, but I don't know if I can remove their guarantee over Sweden. Great, now Poland have allied Sweden too. This isn't really a problem, I can just make them uh, break their alliance with favors. Ooh, I gotta get a claim on Muscovy. My spy has been discovered. All right, good time to declare. Muscovy just declared on no guy right here. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit them. Please Poland join. Yes, they will. I don't think this will be a difficult war, boys, honestly. All right, we're doing all right in the north. Lithuania isn't doing that good in the south. And uh, I think Poland's about to lose Lithuania. Well, Poland dipped. Um, Let's do this. Yeah, I'm just going to take uh, Ingerman land right here uh, because I want to. And I'll annul their treaty with uh, Sweden. Easy. All right, so now because I have a million favors with Poland anyway. And let's see, they're kind of dying. They might not even defend Sweden. They would actually. So let's just go ahead and make them. Uh, oh, I need 50. Muscovy warned me again, uh, that means they would defend Sweden, but, oh wait, 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 okay, okay, uh, let's declare on Sweden, boys, let's go for Stockholm, okay, let's naval barrage for free, I love it, I don't have any manpower though, oh, okay, bro, that's so little, all right, let's get this fort real quick too, and that's all we really need to do here, baby, because they'll already give us the two provinces that we want, yes, finally, a workaround to all our issues, uh, yeah, Lots of issues. No skill issues, though. So, yeah. 
I'm chilling. It's just Denmark and Lubeck left, I think. Oh, and Holstein, right? I don't know what's going on here, man. Austria has Prague, but it's disconnected. We got Saxony, Lusatia, Glogau, Moravia as well. What? How? How? How did this happen? All right, frick a colonialism. Time to go Protestant. Do these guys really need to occupy everything before they enforce demands? We don't really need war against the world here, so let's just go with this. All right, Lubeck wants to conquer Holstein, which is good for us. We'll do one less war like that. Rugen and the Goatland Piracy. Oh, oh, they popped out. Hell yeah, let's link up with them. They don't like me. All right. All right, Denmark's fighting Norway. Uh, Norway declared an independence war. Let's go ahead and hit Denmark here, man. I'm just going to declare for Copenhagen, call in Saxony. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. I am struggling with manpower, but we should be good. I just love bombing forts for free. I forgot if I mentioned this at the start, but uh, we'll also be going back to Season A, boys, to replay Augsburg, because funnily enough, they've also received unique national ideas. So the next data nation is Augsburg, and then we'll jump back into the swing of things and continue with Season H. Well, Verdun just got pieced out, and I blindly accepted their peace offer. Apparently, I got this province. I guess I had a claim on it from earlier. All right, we're good AE-wise. And since Denmark will give me the two provinces that I want, Copenhagen and this one, I am going to finish this war and take them. Why drag it out? when you don't have to that's what i always say um or maybe i don't but now i do nice all right just a war with lubeck the most difficult war help me uh i wish i could link with rugen and be pirate buddies man what are the odds though <laughs> poland broke their alliance with me dude if i'm being real here boys i don't think we're gonna be able to beat lubeck man even if France comes in and they're in debt too, Jesus, man. Look at the Hanseatic League, it's so big. And then Austria and their boys, even though their allies aren't that powerful. Aust Look at Austria, they've just integrated Hungary, dude. They are so powerful, man. This wouldn't have been a problem if Riga didn't join the HRE. I think this is one of the new events. Uh, the Teutons apparently want to join the Empire, so now they're voting. And what do they want? Allow the order to join. Alrighty then. Maybe Ally England will help me somehow. They're not rival to France. Hey, I just accidentally declared war on Lubeck. But guess what, boys? None of that. I'm simply gonna alt f4 and that's the way the cookie crumbles boys no more accidental wars i don't know what you're talking about i didn't see nothing i am starting to see a little bit of progress here though now these guys still wouldn't join but the reasons for them not joining aren't actually that bad uh i think i just need a diplomat guy to get france to come in and i think yeah i probably just need favors with england and to wait for them to get their manpower back up and both of, both of these guys should join the AI can naval invade now, so they should help out. So yeah, let's curry with uh, England here. Here's a Diplorep guy. All right, boys, it's D-Day. All of my allies would join, including England and France and the planet now too. This is going to be an impossible war, man. They're so much more powerful than us. It's going to be so annoying sieging all of these guys as level three forts down. They all have manpower. Austria especially is going to be painful, but we literally can't get a better situation than this. So let's declare for Lubeck and give it our best, because that's what we always do. All right, at least there's a bunch of coastal forts we can barrage for free. All right, here's my stack. All right, boys, war's going meh. I did manage to knock out some of these guys over here by quickly barraging their uh, capitals for free and piecing them out. And France took out, like, two guys down here, or one guy, one of these guys. But uh, then they retreated from Austria right here, and I am almost full occupied. So uh, uh, I'm going to try and piece out some more of these guys, then Austria too. Uh, it's going to be tough. Oh, I got pretty much sack wiped. Ah, uh, France is out. England just hopped out too. I think this is, uh, yeah, I think we're almost done here, boys. <laughs> Third idea group time. It doesn't matter too much, I guess. Maybe quantity, although they nerfed it. Okay, we do have a development. Uh, the Ottomans have declared on Austria as well. I just noticed that. And uh, we may be able to do something here, man. I pieced out pretty much everyone else. I just can't get these guys out, but I should be able to get them out pretty quickly. We'll see what happens here. I think if I can... S oh, dude, I was just about to say, did you guys see these pop-ups? I, I was just about to say, I, if I uh, prevent myself from going bankrupt, uh, we can probably do something here. Uh, let me actually exploit some dev here. Okay, everyone's on low. Okay, I have saved myself from bankruptcy by debasing a bunch of times. And everyone's on low at this point, so I think we should be able to white piece... Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please. Okay. I've pieced everyone out. And a good thing is a lot of my things were occupied by Austria. Now we just need to go and deal with Lubeck and we're going to be good. We're going to die here. We're still losing money, you know, to corruption. Maybe I should uh, do this right here and maybe we'll, so maybe we'll survive like that. Let me uh, exploit some more dev in the provinces that just got unoccupied. And uh, yeah, we're done. We're done. Oh my God. But boys, 
now that we've defeated Lubeck, we own all the centers of trade in the, well, Greater Baltic Sea or whatever you call it. The goal was to get all of them up until this line over here, and we just did. Boom, we can take a mission. This one right there, that one right there. I don't even care what they give me. Let's uh, decrease this. We can't stab up. Well, why can't we stab up? Well, that's very expensive. I don't care about stabbing up. Let's just core this up and, uh, you know, call it a success before the four banner horsemen of you four show up and collapse my campaign but yeah there you go man we start off as the latest nation the latest addition to eu4 the nation of goatland of course it did exist previously but now it exists in 1444 and we stopped being a monarchy right away and we became a pirate republic immediately and of course for our goal we had to conquer all the centers of trade in this area right here and of course we just did that there was some easy wars we did have to wait a lot right at the start to fight the livonians and the teutons because we did need poland's help after all but then all the wars got trickier and trickier we did manage to beat denmark in the first war very easily but the biggest problem wasn't the kalmar union or the fact that muscovy you know guaranteed sweden and then warned me the biggest problem was fighting the hre man because this austria is a giant luckily saved in the last minute by the ottomans declaring on austria they did fight previously a couple of times i guess the ottomans chose the right time to declare and thanks to that or maybe not even thanks to that man since everyone else went low too so maybe it's just so much time had passed that everyone was like frick this let's just get out of this war and after i white pieced everyone you know i did take some stuff from these guys over here at the start but i white pieced everyone else and uh thanks to that naval barraging for free we did manage to siege down a lot of these forts and win barely this super super difficult war i was almost bankrupt i had a few months to go until i was luckily i did manage to you know get some cash up and running by exploiting dev in one or two provinces and then debasing currency to pay off a bunch of loans and then exploiting some more dev and uh yeah this is where we're at man when it was just lubeck left it was easy to defeat them and now we have all the centers of trade that i wanted to get but overall super super fun game man i was super excited to play goatland in a to z i knew they were gonna come up since they were the latest nation that was added in eu4 and uh this map color is disgusting uh it's pretty similar to bohemia but a very very fun campaign and i recommend that you guys you know check out lines of the north and play goatland for yourselves man hashtag not sponsored by the way no one paid me to say that i'm just really loving this dlc so far so Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Goatland in A to Z has been barely a success. And that has been Goatland in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with Augsburg next week when we jump back to season A because they got unique national ideas now as well. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Redhawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And boys, consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100k subs. And maybe with your support, we can do it. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.